It is 40 years since the start of the Falklands War and veterans who were based at RAF Waddington in Lincolnshire have been remembering their role in the conflict. Vulcan planes, which were about to be retired, were enlisted for a special mission at just two weeks' notice for a long bombing mission. Gemma Dawson has this report. Stripped back and ready to be restored. But 40 years ago, this Cold War aircraft was months from being scrapped when the Falklands War brought a new challenge. At 3 a.m., the Vulcan bomb aimers saw their target clearly defined below them on radar and released their loads. The airport buildings were skeletons blown apart by the British bombardment. A Vulcan from RAF Waddington completed the first raid, attacking the runway at Port Stanley to stop it being used by Argentine jets. My crew did the first and the last bombing raids down on Port Stanley. I'd only ever seen World War II movies. I'd never done any bombing like this before or been fired at. As we got closer and closer and closer, the bombs started to fall off and I was able, to, on a little gauge I had in front of me, to see when the, the last bomb had gone and I just had full power on and drew the aircraft into a hard climbing turn to, to get the hell out of there. The raids had been planned back in Lincolnshire with only a couple of weeks' notice. We had several problems, really. One was, A, where, where was the Falklands? We'd never even heard of the Falklands. We thought it might be somewhere near the Faroes at the time. So, A, where was it? B, how on earth do we get there, navigation-wise and fuel-wise? And when we get there, what do we drop? Nobody at Waddington had ever dropped a 1,000-pound bomb from the Vulcan, and nobody had done any air-to-air -air refueling. It was a huge role change. They used an airbase at Ascension Island as a staging post, using tanker planes to complete a complicated mid-air refuelling plan filled with jeopardy. There was a crew of six in these really cramped conditions, and the raid was an 8,000-mile round trip, which took almost 16 hours to complete. The Ministry of Defence have announced that British aircraft have taken action against the airstrip... How did you feel when you heard that broadcast? Relieved, the fact that it actually worked. I was also very pleased that the way I'd planned the attack had worked out and nobody had got themselves killed. I think it was a phenomenal achievement, uh, a world-beating achievement, and back then and probably will still be today, to be, to be frank. What the crews achieved, what the ground crews achieved to get the aircraft to Hebron, um, what the wider station achieved to um, deploy those aircraft forward and conduct that mission, it was phenomenal. Most of the Vulcans retired from RAF service shortly after the Falklands War. But at RAF Waddington, restoration work is now underway on the aircraft that took part in that first bombing raid on Port Stanley. We are removing all the layers of paint that it's had over the many years, um, predominantly so we can have a look at the surfaces underneath and understand what structural work's needed. We're going to repaint it in its original black buck colours so we can restore it to its former glory. Once complete, it's hoped this Vulcan will be back on display here, remembering the past while inspiring future generations. Gemma Dawson, BBC News. Incredible to see the striking silhouette of the Vulcan mm. in flight there.